I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on combination. The question is how many five card poker hands contain two pairs? Now uh, what is two pairs? Let's try to understand that also. And what is a five card poker hand? Let's understand this. Uh, in a deck of cards we have 52 cards, right? So we have 52 cards in a deck right now these 52 cards are in four suits which basically are uh, you can write hearts diamonds spades and clubs now these four suits two of them are red in color these two are red in color and the other two spades and clubs are black in color now each suit so there are 13 we can say numbers or denominations in each suit right so so 13 times 4 is 32 it makes sense right so so you know 13 times 4 equals to 52 cards right so 32 denominations now these denominations they could be like uh, these denominations are four aces and then we have uh, king queen jack each of four kind let's write four so we have aces king queen jack and then we have numbers ace may be considered as one numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 right so so these are the 13 cards right so 1 10 including a is the number 11 12 13 so these are the 13 cards which we have now when we say how many five card poker hands now five card poker hands so if you have five cards here let me say 1 2 3 Four, five order is not important right so as you can see order is not important right not important and therefore it is a case of combination okay not because I've given that heading but because the order is not important it's a case of combination okay so this is very important to understand when to use permutation and when to use combination I'm taking my time to explain this since we have many examples where we have gone into the solution immediately. Now here let's try to understand the concept. Now let's get back to the question. How many five card poker hands contain two pairs? Now two pairs means what? Now two pairs could be, for example, we could have two aces, two jacks, then the third one is different. So two pairs basically means we have a cards with uh, same denomination so so we have two of each denomination right so that is what we have so what we here have is we could have two kings two fours we could have two fives and two six but the fifth card is different so what we have here is we have two cards of one denomination plus two cards of another denomination right okay plus plus the I mean two plus two is four and so plus the fifth card which is not of the same denomination so these that is what we have plus the fifth card which is not of these denominations then you have a poker hand which contains two pairs okay so you cannot have two aces and then you cannot have uh, two kings and one ace right so you cannot have three aces so two cards of one denomination two cards of another denomination and the fifth card will be some other denomination so that is what it is now in this process first step should be we should select there are 13 ways to select a denomination right so we could write 13 times we could select aces kings queens or anything right so the first step is to choose the two denominations right so so the first step here is choose 
to different denominations. Do you understand? So it could be two twos, two threes, two fours, two jacks, something like that. So how many ways can you do this? So you are choosing two denominations, uh, two different denominations from from 13 cards. So the ways you can do is from 13 combination of two. That is what it really means, right? So that is the first way. Now once you select these two different denominations, you need to choose two cards from each, right? So, so you have to select two cards from each. So now we need to choose two cards from each, right? Now, if we think about fours, we have four fours, aces, four aces. So each are of four kind, since there are four suits, right? So basically, we are selecting from a group of four, we are selecting two cards. And since we have two different denominations, so we have this and we also have from the other one, right? So we have two groups to choose from. And the last one here is, we need to, so that gives us four cards. And the fifth card, you have to choose one card from different, we can say denomination, right? So different uh, group. Let's use the word group now. Okay. So how many different cards are left with us? So as you know, there are four of each kind. So from a 52 deck of cards, I mean 52 deck of cards, four and four, eight has been chosen already. We are left with 44 cards, right? So 44 cards. So out of these 44 cards, we have to select one card. We have to select one card. So that gives us, we have to select one from 44 cards, right? So one from 44 cards. So that is how you get that fifth card. You get an idea, right? So what we are saying here is, in our group, we have, we have a card here and the same card there. Then we may have a, here a card, here a card. And this card is something else. It could be any, any other card, right? So getting these two is 4C2. Getting these two is 4C2. Right, we have already selected which two we are talking about by taking two out of those 13. And the fifth card here is from the rest 44 cards, any other card, correct? So the total number of hands with two pairs are how many? We can now multiply the counting principle. So now we can write total number of hands with two doubles or two pairs. is product of all this, right? So it is 13C2 times 4C2 times 4C2 times 44C1. You get an idea, right? So that is that is how you can get your solution, right? So you can use your calculator. Uh, you also know what 14C, I mean, NC2 or NCR is. You can apply the formula, right? Let me write down here. Uh, we know NCR equals to N factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial so you can use the formula find the value uh, in this case i'm just using the calculator so we have 13 uh, c2 right so that is 78 times 4 c2 so we have 4 c2 is 6 times 6 and uh, we have 44 may be obvious but no harm in using the calculator okay and then product of these so 44 times 6 times 6 times 78 gives us a number which is equal to 1 2 3 5 5 2 so that is the number which represents a five card poker hand which contains two pairs do you get the idea right so that is how we can do such questions right now, what you can do as an extension here, let me extend the question. So we'll say question number two here is find probability of getting two pairs in poker 
which is five card and is it okay so now you can extend this question and find probability you can always find total number of choices of getting five out of 52 will be the denominator and here we have the numerator to work with so i'm anil kumar and i hope this helps you and gives you a concept of answering such questions thank you and all the best